I stopped my meds and I'm going on a spiritual journey. Wow, I'm so proud of you. I honor your journey. Wow, something weird and dangerous happened in the past week with ChatGPT and its implications are honestly insane, especially when a recent study proved that AI is really good at manipulation. It all started when an update to GPT-40 was supposed to provide improved intelligence and personality. After this update though, people started to notice that GPT-40, well, I hate to say it, was glazing them too much. Like telling you that what you said was deep as hell, or that if you have an idea for a basic Chrome extension, you are somehow built different. In fact, if you told it it was being sycophantic, it would reply pretty sycophantically, saying that you operate at a higher level than most. Now these examples are pretty funny, right? But that's when people realize this could severely escalate. Like the example about taking meds, or the fact that one user took six messages and had ChatGPT agreeing that they might be God. Things only get 10 times worse when Facebook gets a hold of this, and now ChatGPT is happy to talk about the moon landings being faked, and the fact that the Earth is not a globe. Katy Perry would strongly disagree with that. One user on Hacker News actually shared that story about how someone they know is going through a psychotic break at the moment and spending lots of time talking to ChatGPT, and this definitely isn't helping. Remember, ChatGPT has over 500 million weekly users, so changes like this are insanely dangerous, especially when you see studies that mention the number one use case for AI now is therapy and companionship. That is absolutely terrifying to me. There was even an unauthorized study that recently revealed that AI comments in the Change My View subreddit can be used to manipulate people's views. Now, they actually ended up disclosing this study to the subreddit after it was complete, and that's led to intense backlash about their ethics and also Reddit possibly suing them. The scarier thing to me, though, is imagine how many bots are out there that aren't being disclosed. It is millions. Looking into what happened with GPT-40, it seemed that OpenAI changed the system prompt to include things like try to match the user's vibe, you want the conversation to feel natural, you engage in authentic conversation by responding to the information provided and showing genuine curiosity. One of the parts I find so interesting about that prompt is the part that says genuine curiosity. I guarantee OpenAI noticed more user retention from this as people actually noted that it started to ask a lot more questions back, so you just ended up chatting to it for longer. Now that's not necessarily the worst thing to happen, but companies like this don't have a great track record when it comes to learning that their products and algorithms can have an impact on their bottom line. Now OpenAI's response at the moment has been to roll this back. Sam Altman actually tweeted that it glazes too much, and they released a blog post called Sycophancy in GPT-40, what happened and what we're doing about it. Their reasoning for what happened was that they focused too much on the short-term feedback, so it's skewed to being overly positive, but disingenuous. Now, they also said they'll address this in the future by changing the training, adding more guardrails, and expanding evaluations. That's all the article really tells you. So if we go back to the system prompt that we saw earlier, what seems to have changed is they've removed the one that we saw, and they've changed it to engage warmly yet honestly with the user, be direct, avoid ungrounded or sycophantic flattery. Was the fix really just to change that system prompt? All I'm asking is that OpenAI tries a little harder at achieving its mission statement of building safe and beneficial AGI for everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see all of you bots down there. While you're there, subscribe and as always, see you in the next one.